Hey, how are y'all doing? I hope you're doing good, because I am. Virtuous TV again. You know, another attribute of a virtuous woman. She speaks wisdom and faithful instruction with sound on her tongue. So my words of wisdom today is heal your skin. So I heard the other day, right? A little debate going on about Jamaican oxtail versus Ghanaian oxtail. And which one is better? Mm, and they were hell bent on Jamaican being better. But I thought about it and I said, now, can we give all credit to Jamaica? Or do we look deeper into things and realize that Jamaica is not only filled with Ghanaian folks, it's filled up with a lot of people from all those countries in West Africa. So let's see which countries are in West Africa. So we have Benin, right? We have Burkina Faso, Cabo Verde, Gambia, we have Ghana, Guinea Bissau, Liberia. And here's a history of Liberia. Uh -huh, some of those American slaves, they were sent back to Liberia. So there's some information that we can learn about Liberia. And we have Mali. And we have Mauritania. We have Nigeria. We have Senegal. And we have Sierra Leone. We have Togo. And guess what? 26% Southeast Africans were also sent to Jamaica, not only from the West African nation. So, and guess what? Mm, the Tainos, they assimilated well with those runaway slaves in the mountains in Jamaica, so they can also attribute to some of those delicious Jamaican cuisine, and yeah, mm -hmm, those colonizers, those African slaves, learned a lot from the colonizers whether we want to acknowledge it yes or no they did learn a lot from the colonizers so all those countries combined together create how the jamaican cuisine is made up of and i forgot the east indians they have something to do with it too because they were in jamaica as indentured servants yes so all those countries made up that little nation in Jamaica. So we all have to contribute and acknowledge that they have something to also do with the Jamaican cuisine. So it's not just Jamaican oxtail. It's a combination of all of those African countries, Tainos, colonizers, and East Indian. Oh, I forgot the Chinese. They had something to do with it too. And guess what, y'all? Do you know some of the slaves from Jamaica were sent to America over there in the east? Yes, those Gullah Islands. If you listen to the way those people talk in the Gullah area, they sound just like Jamaican people. And their culture is very similar to the African culture combined with the Caribbean culture. So we are all made up of one. Yes, Virtuous Woman TV. Now, if you liked what you heard, if you learned something, come on now, y'all give me a like. Y'all give me some shares and subscribe. Virtuous Woman TV. Until we meet again. All right.